right? Uh, Nintendo announced a direct, right, Alex? <laughs> yeah. Um, well, like I, <laughs> yeah, it was actually, well, they mentioned it was a mini direct. So it was a Nintendo direct that was focused on what their partners are bringing out. And I think the Nintendo fan base, just whenever Nintendo says there's going to be a direct, they kind of go a little crazy. Yep. And um, we are crazy, okay? I am not crazy. <laughs> like the Nintendo a, fan base or not the crazy? Fan base? Or the one fan base? The Smash fan crazy. base. It, honestly, because Pokemon is I like that like too. Nintendo, like that. Like that. Okay. And the Wild kind of got like that. <laughs> they, I mean, I feel like they put a lot of pressure on Nintendo to keep coming out with like new info all the time like you know for instance people were expecting maybe metroid 4 to be announced or um like a, a new smash dlc or mm. more info on the the new um i think is it breath of the or another breath of the wild that they were planning on coming out was it like a sequel to that or i just yeah, know there's Zelda game. it is a sequel and you should be really happy that I, it is I, I coming, am happy about okay? it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but i mean i just i don't mind waiting stop, stop it brody <laughs> Um, but yeah, so with this like little yeah. mini direct, they they announced small things uh, like Cadence of Hyrule, which is a do uh, do do. What is that game? I can't remember like what it's a rhythm, called. It's a rhythm game. Yeah, it's it's um, just, it's pretty much like a reskin for a rhythm game, but it's actually really fun. It is so much fun. Oh, like, you played it? Is, okay. Oh yeah, my god, so I'm a hu- okay. So Alex, girl, I am <laughs> like a huge Zelda fan. Like I love the Legend of Zelda. I love. I would marry Link if he was a person. Okay. Ow. Like I love the Legend of Zelda. Um. So for me, because um, Crypt of the Necro Dancer, I yeah, think is the original That's game, right? Yeah. I was like, okay, cool. Sounds cool. They put that Zelda skin on it, and I was all on that. Um, so, like, that was one of the announcements of this Direct that really got me yeah. excited. Yeah, they they actually announced, like, a huge DLC pack. Like, I think two of them. And then there's, like, you can play new characters. I think there might be a new area. Uh, and it's only, else? guys, $5.99 for the DLC. And you get Impa. You get Shadow <laughs> Link. It is so cool. Look yeah. into it. 30 yeah, songs. It's not bad. Like, this stuff. <laughs> that they announced in the directs i mean it, it it wasn't like any major titles but i mean still some things to look forward to like that wrestling game that looks kind of fun <laughs> um the wwe then, one oh my yeah. god as soon it, as like i saw that i was like oh wrestling all up in there but i haven't played a wrestling game since like the n64 right. Rumble? oh my god yeah i haven't i haven't really played in a uh, wrestling wow. game so i'd probably pass on that one i don't think uh, i played but, a wrestling game ever Really? No. <laughs> you should at least try it once. Okay, maybe I'll try this one then. On on the point though of uh I, I think it does like of the hate in that, I think it because you know a lot of people were upset about this, even though they were told that it was just not going to be a big thing. Yeah. Um you can't expect those things. But I think it, it stems deeper than that. I think it stems to the frustrations of the competitive Nintendo fans. I think it does divvy down to that again. There's the Nintendo fans. And the competitive Nintendo fans, um, right? And, and I, I honestly think Nintendo competitive Nintendo Nintendo fans have a lot to complain about. I mean, Nintendo True. doesn't listen to the competitive scenes in almost yeah. anything. Uh, again, Pokemon, Splatoon, Smash, like they they all have scenes um, where people play these games competitively. But Nintendo doesn't really care about them. And in all honesty, they are probably a minority of their audience. I mean, a majority of people that play Smash. Are just people that casually play Smash, you know, with at home with some friends over the party and throw the game on. They have items turned on, everything like it's. So they're they're going to cater to that audience because that's right. The majority of their their money is going to be made there, so they have to. Now, I do think there's a balance that can be found, and I think Nintendo actually needs to start monitoring some of this stuff. I mean, you look at what happens when you let a competitive scene. Um, start to run itself i mean you have a lot of people that don't <laughs> yeah. know what they're doing you you look at what's been happening in the smash scene there's a lot of bad stuff that's been happening um and i think that's a result of people being put into positions we kind of talked about this with esports in general being put into positions that they're not qualified for and yeah. then that attitude just kind of trickles its way down throughout the entire scene and nintendo if the even if they want to absolve themselves of all responsibility of that scene because if something bad happens they don't want their hands on it but they need to have a little bit of input to make sure that there is a foundation that can sustain itself that has good roots 
Um, but even that little bit of love towards their competitive fans, I think will quell a lot of the toxicity and frustrations that come from the competitive audiences of Nintendo. And I think that's what it is. Now, I don't think they're right to hate on this. They were told what this is going to be. <laughs> there, this is, but I think there are there are deeper things at, and deeper frustrations that are surfacing that's causing these things to happen. And inadvertently, indirectly, Nintendo has almost caused this type of audience to happen, in, in my opinion, because they're so hands-off that they've allowed this this um, cesspool to fester of toxicity just to kind of boil to the point that that's just what the competitive scene is across a lot of Nintendo games now, uh, that there is a lot of toxicity just rooted in yeah. those scenes. <laughs> I completely forgot yep. about Splatoon. I'm like, oh my God, whatever happened to the Splatoon scene? Are they okay? Anyone's checked up on them recently? Because they've mm -hmm. gotten no love at all. And you do bring up a good point about Nintendo needing to kind of invest in these scenes in order to kind of foster a good community. But at the same time, and I love the Smash community, I love them all. But at the same time, even if Nintendo is not going to um, be a part or a helping hand in trying to grow the community, because that's not what their objective is, you can't hate on them completely because you are still playing their game. Yeah. Right? You're still playing their game. So it's unfortunate now that all this came out in the Smash community because now I feel like that just drew the distance between them getting any help from Nintendo even further. So it's really sad to see those advocates in those communities that were trying to advocate for um, Nintendo helping put money into the scene see that kind of loss. Um, but at the same time, like you mentioned, Nintendo was straight up with what the Direct was. It was a mini. It's not the first time yeah. that Nintendo <laughs> has done a mini Direct. I think more on the frustrations of more of the casual gamers um, and audience for Nintendo, it's that there's so much news that is being teased or leaked about Metroid yeah. 4, Breath of the Wild, Pokemon, all this stuff. And Nintendo has not shown us any of that and because <laughs> all these companies are having like their e3 type of pressers nintendo is one of those companies that have been doing a direct for the past like what is it three or four e3s so you would have thought that they would have came out with their direct already but you haven't seen anything yet so i think those frustrations are really fostering there with the fact that like what is nintendo waiting on because I'm well, starting, I'm starting to scratch myself because I cannot, I can't wait <laughs> any longer. I can't. <laughs> the thing, the thing that's important to note regarding the directs, although you see company, you know, like PlayStation did something in June, right? They hooked it up. Xbox doing something in three days. So they, like, obviously some companies, they're working around the clock. But I think in the case of the Nintendo, they're just like, it's. You've seen this a lot. I, I don't know if a lot of people know devs or just industry people when it comes to e3 time it for them it is literally the most stressful time of the year and that's because everyone is rushing to the deadline to make sure they got the the cgi trailers for a reveal of a certain game or yeah. you know they got, they got the whole presentation lined up and ready to go to make sure like everyone's got to be rehearsing on stage all that fun stuff so now that e3 has been canceled i think a lot of these devs a lot of these big companies publishers like xbox playstation are like okay hold on we don't got to meet any deadlines. Like, let's just reveal our stuff when we want to. PlayStation, I'm sure, in their scenario, were like, let's do it first so that we could be the the big marketing push, you know, and and have and have our stuff out first so that everyone's you know all eyes on us. Uh, and then now here's Xbox coming along in in July. But I think in the case of Nintendo, they're like, hold on, like we we don't got to rush to reveal anything. There's no E3 here. Let's just let's just take our time. You know, we'll do a little mini direct here and there so that we get uh, the, the sprinkles of information out of the way and we don't got to waste anybody's time when we go with the big blowout. And I think that's okay. You know, they, yeah. they marketed it as a mini direct. I don't know why it surprises people that a <laughs> mini direct that was announced like 12 hours before it went live <laughs> ended up not featuring a ton of massive reveal. Yeah. Like there was no marketing for this direct whatsoever. I'm not sure... Why people were going into this like, 
So Breath of the Wild 2, right? So like the rest of the DLC for Smash, right? That's what we're going to expect. <laughs> I, I just, I don't, know if, I don't know if I'm the only one to be thinking that, but I just, no, you're not I would have never, I would have never expected that out of something titled Mini Direct announced yeah. like 12 hours before it went live. But then is that problem there with how gamers as a whole look to how other companies are doing things and expect every company to do it as that? Like now that we're seeing, you know, Ubisoft, Xbox, PlayStation putting out these um, E3, like direct E3s right now, we're expecting yeah. every company to kind of take that point. And maybe mm -hmm. that's our maybe that's our. Maybe that's our problem. Maybe gamers, <laughs> we are the problem. Nintendo community, are we the problem? Uh, are we? No, I think I think we we I think it's okay, especially given everything that I mentioned and what we're all coming to expect. That yeah. you know, we should have like it should be the standard, I guess you could say, in terms of what's set with the circumstances we're in. But I think at the same time, because of the circumstances we're in, people are. Like nobody's working at a hundred percent the way that they would be if they were in an office before all this went down. And so we just kind of have to like, just let Nintendo work, let them do their thing. Let them you know, work. The, the games are not going anywhere. Nothing's getting canceled. All that stuff will still come out when it's going to come out. And when they want to reveal it, they'll be ready to reveal it. You know? Jay does bring up a point in chat. He says Mario 35th anniversary. And that that is true. It is Mario. They're their icon. Yep. Right? They're iconic characters. Mm -hmm. 35th anniversary. So maybe a Ninten Nintendo theorist. Okay, look at me. Maybe Nintendo's planning something really big, right? That we're gonna see at the Ooh. end of summer. Right? And if they mm -hmm. don't do it, then maybe we get mad then. Huh? Huh, guys? No? I <laughs> I've, I've been playing a lot of Star Citizen. Uh, so I have a lot of patience. Uh, when oh, it comes I have to none. People, when people <laughs> release things on time. If, the, if Nintendo, if I was expecting a release this year of like, uh, you know, a big major game, and they're like, actually, we're going to push it next year, I'd be like, okay, cool. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Because oh, I'm so game? used, I'm so used to that. Now. What's, what's, what's the, the game that, that everybody you used? played? Oh my gosh, Brody, you played it. It was like a huge game, biggest flop. Why is it escaping my mind right now? Brody, you know this game. It was like the biggest game, one of the biggest gaming flops in recent time. No Man's Sky. Brody, no Man's you were Sky playing. Not a flop. It. it was when it came out. It was because it was, it was not one, ready. It, it was exactly <laughs> right. So that's you. You're like, if the game launches and it's crap, if they take like three three years to get it better, it's all right. That's fine. Let's just do that. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, they should should Listen. release it when it's ready. But that's what I'm saying. Star <laughs> Citizen, like, they're not releasing it. It's already been like six, eight years that they're developing it. I think they got another six years. I'd rather them just take their time, make the game, <laughs> release it when it's ready. Yeah, so let's, yeah. In, in, Alex, in the wise right? words of Shigeru, yeah. yeah. What's that? In the wise words of Shigeru Miyamoto, continue. Yes. Yeah. In the wise words of Shigeru Miyamoto, a delayed game <laughs> is eventually good. But a rushed game is forever bad. Unless you're No Man's Sky and you can update it over time. Oh, my God. Okay, okay. come on. Just stop. <laughs> we'll, we'll take that advice, Caboose, for the direct as well. We'll just have to keep waiting. Um, and if you want to play No Man's Sky, I guess do it. Because Brody's saying it's good. <laughs>